It's very aggressive game. Richard uh, put on yesterday going against Karan Butler it was a nice matchup, and Jefferson uh, attacked as did the Nets all afternoon. Colby inside distributes, and anytime Shaquille gets it in that close, he's going to throw it down. You you are absolutely right. He gets himself planted right underneath the basket. There's not much you can do other than foul him. I tell you what, you see him in person as that pass sails through the fingertips of Kerry Kittles. You see Shaq in person, you appreciate his size even more. He is enormous, especially with Lawrence Frank here walking <laughs> just in front of us. I don't think we're going to see Lawrence Frank go out and try to grab Shaq's leg <laughs> anytime soon. Lawrence, uh, he's smarter than that. He may not tell you that, but uh, Shaq, you're right. What a great athlete at that size, Spiro, and that's what's amazing, what he can do at that size. So with the Lakers, you're talking about a team that can score. They're third in the league in scoring, and when they're able to do this, Spiro, Kobe Bryant getting penetration all the way down underneath, and you said it before, there's no way you can move him out of there, and that's an easy dunk. Talked about the size disparity between Lawrence and Shaquille, and see some of Shaq's comments. 142 pounds. Um, Nine or ten, yeah, I, I would say that he's probably right on the money at that time. Right now, I think one of his legs weighs 142 pounds, which would be equal to Lawrence's entire body weight. Shaquille listed at 7'1", 340 pounds. And in better shape this year than last year. He's had to deal with a right calf strain mm -hmm. since training camp, something that continues to hamper him. Kobe Bryant double team momentarily, then the help defender moved away. Kobe knocks it away and comes up with a steal. Shaq again, great possession, oh stuffs it, and a foul is called. Oh my. Wow. The Collins was trying to protect yeah. Shaq that time, and then Shaquille lost his balance and fell. Talk about getting position. You want to see position? This is position underneath. And Collins, nothing he can do. That is fierce. My goodness. Jason Collins, you don't know what to do. You don't know whether to grab him, try to protect him, or just move out of the way. Protect yourself at all costs. So How about the ball on heel to the free throw line? This place is electric right now. Better than 19,000 tonight. A sold out crowd. Here at Continental Airlines Arena. And that's what makes him who he is. I mean, as far as we keep using that word, unguardable. That's why. Next beat time trailing by 17 points. A 10-2 spurt by the Lakers. So Richard Jefferson just 4 of 10 at the free throw line. Over the first 24 minutes, Shaquille O'Neal, meantime, has steamrolled past this Nets front line in a 14-point halftime haul. 49-35, Lakers lead New Jersey. Well, here are the highlights of the action from the first quarter. Kobe Bryant driving and then dealing to the big fella, Shaquille O'Neal. You know what? Just get out of his way. Lakers up by seven. 37-24, Lakers. Now, this is dominating. Watch Shaq here. Jason Collins, he's doing what he can. Try to, try to hold him up and it's like holding up a Volkswagen. Didn't work out for him. Sonic snapped their three-game losing streak along the way. That's it for now. Spiro and Kelly standing by to bring you the second half, and we will rejoin them courtside when our coverage of Nets basketball continues here on the SBC See you on the post game. But tonight, against a bigger, stronger team like the Lakers, the Nets got a taste of their own medicine. And that's really the difference when you look at what the Nets have been able to do during that streak where they've been able to dominate down low, particularly against Eastern Conference. Not the case tonight as the Los Angeles Lakers, led by the big man Shaquille O'Neal, have had their way down low. 24 points in the paint. And you know what? Yeah, Shaq's got nine. He had some foul trouble, but Gary Payton's been able to get loose on the break. And and get some points down there and, and the Nets have to figure out a way not only to keep the Lakers out of there. Bryant spins oh, yeah, along the yeah. baseline as it poked away and taken by Collins. That's a pretty good pass from Kobe Bryant. Nets, Nets turn it over though. Bryant up top, Shaquille catches and dunks with the left hand. And then looks at the left hand. He's still amazed that he's got one. So the Newark, New Jersey native back in his hometown and wreaking havoc here tonight against New Jersey. And Lawrence Frank forced to burn another timeout. 
Here's the play. Bryant makes it. Shaq with the left hand. Enough said. Flush time for the Lakers. We'll be back. Lakers up 21. Well, everything going the way of the Lakers tonight. A 21-point lead, and Shaquille O'Neal has electrified this crowd tonight, taking the feed from Kobe Bryant. Yeah, off the steal, that's what made it happen, and you see Shaq. He still can't believe how good that left hand is of his. And again, the athleticism shown there. Great pass by Bryant, but Shaq goes up and gets it, and with one hand just hammers it through for the flush. And the Lakers extending that lead once again. Advantage. They've run their offense to perfection. Usual lineup for the Lakers to start the fourth quarter. Kareem Rush, Derek Fisher back in. Rush unable to finish. Shaquille O'Neal tapping it to himself three and four times. And he ducks it through. One man volleyball team out there. How many, hand, how many times did he get his hand on it? And a technical foul. A moment ago, his fifth technical foul. Mm -hmm. His last rush knocks it down at the line. Take a look, Spiro. That Shaquille O'Neal tips it two, three times and then finally settles in and flushes the final one home. Shaquille tonight, 15 points and 11 rebounds. Talking about Jason Kidd, five straight games now with single-digit assist numbers. That is his the longest streak of the season. Kareem Rush up top. Shaquille O'Neal just get out of his way. Yeah, they throw it up there. He'll just go get it. And again, he's a powerful, powerful man. Lawrence Frank wants to talk about it once again. Nets find themselves down in a big hole here in the fourth. Well, Shaquille O'Neal at 58% leads the NBA in field goal <laughs> shooting. And when you're 7 1, 3, 40, Kelly, you, you get some high percentage looks. I wonder why. Shaq, dunk after dunk after dunk. He's got five of them tonight, folks. And that's why he leads the league. And I'm sure, I'm not going out on the limb here, he leads the league in the, in the number of dunks. I don't know if they've tightened the screws on the backboards here at the Meadowlands, but if he pulled that down way back when, when he was a lot slimmer. Maybe closer to 300 pounds. The Shackify those backboards. The shock absorbers have been impressive tonight. Well, join us again Tuesday when the Nets take on Carmelo Anthony for Nuggets. Now stay tuned for the Nissan Nets.